What's going on guys? This is Mia Sin and welcome to my Splite deck profile featuring the new support from Darkwing Blast. So this deck is going to be ridiculously insane, man. There's like no words to describe how broken this deck is with the new Bisted Monsters, the new Satchila Fenrir. And the issue that Splite kind of had before was the fact that, uh, you know, the monsters are kind of weak. So there were like less ways to apply pressure, especially going second. But now you have like a new Pancratops, which can be played a three, which is very stupid. And uh, instead of playing, you know, DD Crew, like, a, you know, a casual scrub, no, nah, no, nah, you're, you're playing a way better card in the form of Magnamut, which searches you your Druid Worm, or you can hard draw the Druid Worm, and uh, still banish a monster your opponent controls, well, in the graveyard, a light or dark. And then, of course, when it's sent from the field to the grave, you can make your opponent lose a special summon monster and send it to the graveyard. Not destroy, not, no, 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 send it to the graveyard. Obviously, it targets, it couldn't have been, like, a tier negative 10 card, but whatever. Anyways, before this deck profile starts, make sure you like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch and Instagram. If this video can get to 1,000 likes, I will be making a live stream on this deck. And now let's get right into it. All right, so for the monsters, I'm playing double Fenrir and then triple Bisted Monster. So that's actually the bare minimum. If you want to play three Fenrir, go for it. 100% respectable. And if you really want to, you can play three Magnemut and also one to two to three Druid Worms. That's also something that we have been seeing in the OCG quite a lot. But I want to say for the most part, people have been splashing these cards pretty much in every single deck list I've observed in the OCG. So this is definitely something that works in practice. And in theory, these cards are just really good. But I think I've explained them enough. Anyways, for the other Splite Monsters, I'm on a pretty big package, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm playing the one Pixies as well as the double red, which is probably the maximum of uh, Splite Monsters I usually see. People sometimes, they only play one red and they play zero Pixies. So they're like bare, bare, bare minimum. But I just wanted to have, you know, more ways to get my Splite engine started. Even though even a single Magnemut can get your engine started. Uh, the Pixies is really good at beating the Arrival Cybers. So we don't have to play gimmicky cards like Cat Shark, etc. Or go for like a gigantic Splite with like a Link monster every time. Because we do not play Needle Fiber. The reason for that is because we need the space for Nimble Beaver and Nimble Angler. And this card can be sent with a Splite Sprint, which is very easy to summon since all it really requires is a level, rank, or link to monster and any other monster. So if you send the Nimble Angler, you're summoning Double Beaver. And Nimble Be Beaver is a little better than uh, uh, Deep Sea Diva in the game, uh, grind game because you can also revive back from the grave, whereas Diva is, is only from the deck. So if you run out of copies of Diva in your deck, you can't really go normal summon effect. Anyways, I'm not going to waste time explaining the triple jet and triple uh, blue as well as the one carrot because this is extremely standard. Uh, same thing with the triple swap frog and one Ronin Totin. The one thing that I will say though is that if you want to play Doof Frog, go for it. I think it's also respectable. Uh, if people don't play Super Poly, then it's going to make your board even better. The only issue with Doof Frog is that it is a brick and... Yeah, again, Super Poly is kind of a bitch. Anyways, the, the Nimble Monsters, I'll re-explain. So 23 monsters in a 40 card deck list. And for the spells, I am playing a lot of Board Breakers. Well, not necessarily Board Breakers, but kind of. I mean, two copies of Triple Tactic Talents, two copies of Enemy Controller, triple copies of Super Poly because we have the extra deck space now. And then Triple Starter, of course, the starter of the deck. <laughs> uh, two Prosperities. You can play three Prosperity if you want. You can also play three Enemy Controller or three Triple Tactic Talents. I just wanted more variety and not really draw like a bunch of duplicates. That's just like my personal thing. But if you are, if you don't really think like me, it's not a problem either because I've seen a lot of pro players just play a bunch of three ofs in their deck and they consistently, consistently do well because they understand their deck very well. And then the one caught by the grave, the one Splite Smashers. Uh, some deck lists also play two Smashers or three Smashers. I think three Smashers in the main deck is overkill. I would either go with one or two and then maybe side the other copies and that's the reason why I have another Smashers in my idea section. And finally, a hand shop would be Imperm because it doesn't lose the Cobb by the Grave, it doesn't lose the Triple Tactic Talents. You can draw it for turn and not complain. You can excavate it off of Prosperity and negate a bunch of annoying things like Winda. So it's just like one of the best hand shops to play instead of like Valor or Ash. I, I think Ash is actually really bad against Tier Laments. But yeah, anyways, 40 cards in the main deck, like I said. And for the extra deck, I'm on Drago Stapelia, Mudra uh, sorry, Garura and Mudragon, so the three Super Poly targets. Uh, which allows you to cover a lot of ground. I mean, basically any two monsters with the same attribute, uh, with the same type or whatever attribute, basically, and then uh, a dark monster and a fusion monster, just really easy against, like, Tier Laments, or even Exorcister or Splite. So yeah, Super Poly is pretty much always never dead, except against, like, the pro Tier Laments players that uh, only end on, like, Kaleido Heart, zero dark monsters, and, like, a bunch of monsters with different attributes. But it is what it is if that happens. And you still have some other good cards to use against them. Anyways, for the Xyz monsters, one, one Zeus, one Toad, double Gigantic Splite, and the new monster from Darkwing Blast is number two, 
Ninja Shadow Mosquito. So this card is actually really cool because if you have it as, as well as, uh, I believe, two or three other monsters, I think it's three, and your opponent has a monster with 2,700 or more attack, you make this and then you attack your opponent, you give him like an hallucination, hallucination counter, and then your other monsters attack the 2,700 monster. So what happens is that your opponent takes 2,700 damage, and if you have three monsters that can attack, your opponent takes the 27 multiplied by 3, which is 8,100 damage. So you can OTK your opponent, even if they have like a huge board, instead of trying to like break the board with Zeus, and then establish the board in main phase 2 and, and try to grind it out. You can straight up go for the kill, even when your opponents have like 10 billion cards more than you. And for the Link monsters, I'm on Unicorn with Mascarina. You can also play Appaloosa maybe, or Mech Knight Crusade Avermax, or Topologic Bomber, or whatever. Uh, Dark, of course, this card is just like extremely good. And it's also really nice with the Bisted Monsters. Uh, Triple Elf, just, you know, for the grind game, because the second one, it comes up very, very early in your game. And the third one is the, is how you actually grind out the Splite Mirrors or the other grindy uh, matchups. And finally, the Splite Sprint and the Masquerina that I already explained. Now, for the idea section, a bunch of these cards, <laughs> they're kind of either old cards or just gimmicky cards that I don't even recommend, to be honest. But yeah, Nibiru, I already made like a video, I think yesterday, uh, <laughs> saying how I'm not a really big fan of Nibiru. I think if you only draw Nibiru, it's always like absolute trash. Uh, it used to be decent against D Danger Tier Elements, even if you had it al alone. However, in the future, they are going to be going for Lulu Karos, which negates any card or effect that summons a monster. So Nibiru just went from being like decent to being really unplayable in the main deck, unless you're playing like 20 hand shops. But if you're playing 20 hand shops, I think you're already doing something wrong. It's just going to make your deck so bricky, and you're going to have to start relying on getting pretty lucky to win. So I'm really not a big fan of Nibiru. It really just uh, changes your deck building way too much. Uh, Kaijus, I don't know, you could maybe play them in the side deck. In the main deck, maybe not, but Gamma Seal is nice with Toad because you can actually recycle it back. So if you play like Artemate Slay, you can, I don't know, find a way to like get Gamma Seal in the grave and then send the Toad, recycle back the Gamma Seal. But then you can't really summon Toad for the rest of it, so that's actually really bad. <laughs> anyway, Cyberstein with Naturia Exterio, which I absolutely don't recommend. You have to pay 5k life points, it makes you really uh, vulnerable to Nibiru, and just a bunch of negative things that I don't um, think uh, are really good for you. Down Downward Magician, which could be the replacement for the third, third Elf, so that you can make a Zeus with 4 materials. Or if you're not trying to play Super Poly, then you have so much extra deck space. You can even play Mankin Cat or Sky Cavalry, but I don't think it's worth it, because... Ninja Shadow Mosquito also cannot be destroyed by battle, so just like kind of better than Sky Cavalry. And then the uh, target for Artemis Slay would be the Evil Twin Trouble Sunny. I already explained that Palooza because you can make it with Mascarina. And Mascarina is really nasty in this deck because you can link off the Druid Worm so that it's like a double interruption or triple interruption because you have a DD Crow, a send to, well, you can send a monster upon controls to the graveyard that had to be special summoned. And then you have like either your Appaloosa or Unicorn to get rid of like other cards. And then the Codebreaker Virus Swordsman is like an out of Baguska, but it's completely irrelevant. Or it's also a target for Deck Devastation Virus. Fun fact, these Bisted Monsters are all targets for either Deck Devastation Virus, Eradicator Epidemic Virus, or even, even Full Force Virus. So these monsters are just way too good. And finally, Salaman Great Al Mirage if you break on either uh, just Swafrog. And then Foolish Burial for the Nimble Angler. It's a one-card starter that doesn't take up your normal summon. But it's very redundant if you already have your stuff going. And um, yeah, more copies of Smashers. So that's pretty much it for this deck list. Let me know your thoughts about the deck in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.